When you look at urban Honolulu right now, it's hard to imagine what it would be like if a major hurricane were to make a direct hit. But scientists and emergency management officials have been doing more than just imagining it. And they have a pretty good idea of just how bad it could get. Iniki was a Category 4 hurricane with 145 mile per hour winds when it made its direct hit on Kauai, destroying or damaging more than 6,000 homes. If the same system hit Oahu, then it would be really, really disaster, right? Because here, property values are so high. One major threat would be flooding in a major urban area. Here in Hawaii, our development is concentrated along the shoreline for the most part and on our low-lying coastal areas that are already flood prone. And so um, sea level rise is only acting to, to compound those risks. How bad would the flooding be? NOAA's hurricane surge maps show many areas of downtown Honolulu and Waikiki in yellow. That's three to six feet of water if a hurricane of Iniki strength made landfall on Oahu. Parts of the airport in red would be more than nine feet underwater. And then there's the wind threat. Iniki destroyed many homes on Kauai. Experts say the same thing would definitely happen on Oahu. We have a significant amount of homes that are built to older design standards that are not equipped or haven't been retrofitted to withstand wind. And that has a lot of implications, both for the immediate response and the long-term recovery. Um, so it's going to be really damaging if we have a large storm. Oahu's closest call was just three years ago, when Hurricane Douglas passed 30 miles north of Kahuku as a Category 1 hurricane. The island was spared from the strong winds and heavy rain that were on the northern half of the tropical cyclone. But if it had passed 30 miles to the south of Honolulu, much of downtown and Waikiki would still be covered by up to three feet of ocean water and heavy rain. So it would have had a significant impact, both from storm surge, um, presumably rainfall flooding, but also the large waves that would have um, come from uh, the storm passing south of us as well. After the storm passes, emergency officials say power will be lost, cell towers may come down, and the internet may be spotty if it's working at all. Think about what that means. Whose phone number do you need? Um, where do you need directions to? I'm someone who's completely dependent on, on Google Maps. You know, do you know how to get to where you want to go if you've, you've picked out your evacuation?